Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Douglas Cochran. Jeff and I have teamed up to make a series of videos called The Physics of Docking. How to pivot the boat. In our last segment, titled How the Prop Works, we discussed the prop effects called prop wash and prop walk. Prop wash moves the stern sideways when starting in forward gear, and prop walk moves the stern sideways when starting in reverse. Each of these effects works briefly as the prop overcomes the inertia of the boat and starts moving it through the water. When docking or maneuvering in tight quarters, we typically want to be moving it dead slow. That's when these effects are strongest, so we'll use them effectively to pivot the boat around. Let's assume our boat has a left-handed prop. That means it will prop walk to starboard. We'll put the helm hard to port so prop walk will move the stern to starboard. So Douglas, if you can pivot your boat in a controlled situation, you have much more control over your orientation with other slips and other boats. Tell me how this exactly works. Well, what we're gonna do is combine prop wash and prop walk. And so prop wash will push the stern over when we're in forward, prop walk will push the stern over when we're in reverse. So we're gonna go briefly into to forward and I, by briefly, I mean about one second, because it is a very brief amount of time that, that before the boat starts moving forward. And if we're turning in a tight fairway, we don't want to go forward. We just want to turn the boat. So we'll go a, a second or so in forward. Then we'll go into reverse, and we'll hold that for maybe three or four seconds. So by we going forward, it puts some, some pressure on the rudder. The boat starts rotating. We come back to kind of hold our position, and the boat will pivot and rotate. Yes, when we come back, we put it in reverse, that'll stop our forward motion. But keep the boat still turning. But it'll keep the, yes, the prop walk will move the stern around. And we do in and out and in and out slowly. And the boat will turn in its own radius. Why don't we just use the thruster? We're learning how to do this with <laughs> seamanship. Okay, all right. All right, good. <laughs> to pivot the boat in its own length, we will shift between forward and reverse, using prop wash and prop walk in sequence to spin the boat. We put the boat in forward, and the prop wash pushes the stern to starboard. Before the boat begins moving forward, we immediately go back in neutral, and then pause for a moment. The stern will continue to swing to starboard. Next we shift into reverse. Prop walk will continue pulling the stern to starboard. This will be especially effective since the boat is already rotating counterclockwise. Again, we shift back into neutral before the boat gets any way on in reverse. We go back into forward for a second or two. Prop wash pushes the stern to starboard, accentuating the rotation that's already taking place. We shift back to neutral before the boat gains any forward momentum. And we repeat this sequence of maneuvers until the boat has rotated all the way around or to whatever degree we want. So let's look at how this works in real life. So here's how it works. We put the boat in forward for just a second or two. You'll see that it starts to rotate around. We wait a second or two and put it in reverse. We stay in reverse until we have stopped all forward motion. It takes a little longer to do that than it does going forward. Back to neutral, back into forward. Back to neutral, into reverse. Back to neutral, into forward. So why does it take longer in reverse than forward? It's because the prop is built for, for efficiency going forward, so it starts moving the boat forward very quickly, but it takes longer to reverse it because it's less efficient. So it's, instead of stopping the boat, it's just paddle wheeling the boat until it gets a little bit of way on. Now, if we want to speed this process up a bit, we can introduce the thruster. So see what happens here. If I hit the bow thruster first, there's our thruster, a little bit of forward, a little bit of reverse. Thrust again, forward. Neutral, reverse.
You see that it, this moves us even faster. Now, what happens if we use both thrusters? So let's try this. We'll go thrust both directions and go forward. Reverse. Again, we'll go forward. Neutral. Reverse. So what happens if we don't use the engine at all? What if we just use the thrusters? Now, if you have electric thrusters, you don't want to do this because you'll promptly overheat them and be stuck. But with hydraulic thrusters like this boat, we can thrust all day long. You'll see that the bow thruster is slightly more powerful than the stern thruster. So that's how you pivot your boat in its own length. I'm going to talk about back and fill where I've got the helm hard over to port. I put the boat in forward slightly and I'm trying to get some rotation. Then I go into neutral, coast, and then back into reverse to try to hold my position. I go back to neutral, give it a little more forward, and I can see the boat slowly starting to spin. With some practice, I can get to where I'm rotating the boat pretty quickly just by going forward, neutral, and reverse. You can give it a little more oomph, a little more RPM to get it rotating quicker. But the whole idea is to keep the boat rotating around. And you can do this in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction. We hope you'll find time soon to take your boat out in calm water with plenty of sea room and experiment with pivoting your boat. Try pivoting in the direction that's aided by prop walk. Then see what happens when you pivot in the opposite direction. You'll find that the pivot is less effective when prop walk works against you each time you go into reverse. Then try adding the thrusters if you have them to see how it improves your performance. Once you're comfortable pivoting your boat in open waters, try using the same technique in closer quarters. Before long, you'll be maneuvering through the tightest marina with complete ease. Coming up next, a discussion about preparation for docking. Stay tuned for more fun stuff.